hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl az me williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video yes guys it's been indeed a september to remember trust me this september will be your mate we've seen it all like every day every day has something new to offer like we've had drama between tonto dk bobritsky i mean we had big brother niger with their epic twist that almost divided this country and this continent whoa and now guess what tacha has unfollowed kafi mm -hmm. it looks like also and Nengi are not in good terms anymore mm -hmm. and also Yes, the one we did not expect to happen, Bob Brisky tenders a public apology to Tone to Decay. People of God, sit tight because this gist is about to be what lit. <laughs> Okay, guys, so let's start with the very recent one, the Big Brother Niger epic eviction twist. Like, the eviction twist was so twisted that Big Brother himself got twisted in it too. I mean, there was a protest in front of the Big Brother house at Ilipeju or Ilipeju, I don't know how to pronounce that name, in Lagos. And I'm asking myself, what would make it in a wake up from my house on a Monday morning and go to protest because of Big Brother? Ah! I don't think there's anything that's gonna make me do that all yet. So, but this is put the Patriots, Perez fans in court, went there to protest, even after Perez Page and Live put out the statement asking them to stand down that the right thing will be done, that Perez will actually have his place among the top five. Now, this happened, and after that, you know, they got addressed, you know, by the staff and everything. Then people that told everybody, do your worst. I don't care. This game must go on. And on it did go. If there's an English like that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it was now time for Perry and Angel to sort it out with the truck on scrambling a bit of the smuggling game. Which surprise, surprise, Angel pulled a surprise on all of us. Like when I saw that game in my mind, I'm like, oh, Perra has got this in the bag. Well, Angel, like Big Brother said, went above and beyond. I mean, Big Brother thought he had 54 parts. I mean, even in the African Magic website, Big Brother Niger website, they told us the truck has only 54 parts. But guess what? Angel gave us 56 parts. Now, I'm asking Big Brother, is it that you don't know how many parts you put in that truck? Or you just, I don't know, as usual, being like a desicle with your um, programming and everything like you've always been this season. Well, as it stands, you know, Perry actually got 54, Angel got 56. And because they have put in so much work and all the tenacity and whatever, whatever English people that were speaking, people that decided to reward them both with place a place in the finale so as this stands Perry and angel are now part of the finale or part of the finalist guys so we now have a top six instead of a top five yes guys i mean this is something i talked about like what stops them from just having the both of them since he actually wants to have one of them so bad anyways guys so as he stands now Liquor Rose, Cross White Money, Emmanuel, Perry, and Angel are all finalists are in the run for the grand prize 19 million naira. Voting lines have been open since what 8 p.m. on um Monday. Yes, guys. And you all are required to vote for your faves. You can decide to share votes if you want. If you don't want to, it's still your business. Now, talking about voting, so Maria did the honorable thing by coming out to campaign for her bestie, Lika Rose. But the funny thing here is, if you go to her comment section, a lot of them are like, no, 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 Maria, we love you so much, but um, bam, 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 Lika Rose is a no for us. We are going to be voting somewhere saying, oh, white money, white money, white money, while somewhere saying they are going to be voting for Pere. Well, I guess you don't really have have much control over your fans they will still want to do what they want to do especially if it's not directly connected to you yes guys now still on this whole parrot and angel matter mm. 
So at, at about, I think it's 30 p.m. or so. So they actually got into the house. The four finalists were already in the garden making crosses hair. Then they just had, you know, the doorbell ring. Now, before that happened, people that, um, supplied them with surplus food items, which, which white money was like the way people that gave them this food hope he's not bringing in new housemates, which a lot of them dismissed and all that. But voila! Pere and Angel came back. Cross was super, super excited. He was just like a baby. Lico Rose was super excited. The way she hugged Pere, the way she hugged Angel. At some point, the hug between Pere and Cross pushed Emmanuel down. You know, White Money was also, you know, there. But I also noticed he wasn't that happy. Now, there's this controversy online that, you know, they were dragging White Money. You know, um, Angel had to call Pere into the red room to tell him that, oh, you see what I said? White White money is not happy that we are back but let's put all this into perspective i'm not going to drag anybody in this video first of all as a competitor you think that naturally you are going to be happy it's not as if white money is a bad person he's just being human for crying out loud like there's no point faking anything he was not faking it even though he tried i see nothing wrong with what he did guys i really see nothing wrong with what he did i don't understand why people feel like we must all be happy for people every time it's a competition let's get it straight up back even me somehow i mean i feel like you're a threat to me or you're my competition and you you are back do you know what that means it means that for six of us that stood three of us actually got saved and you know they are not they don't have the knowledge of how much love they have on the outside so of course it will be you know it's no more it's a competition that doesn't mean he hates angel or parent and angel you know noticing it is still not a bad thing i don't understand like she notices it she tells parent i see it not as i don't see it as any bad thing at all at all because it's still a normal human behavior if i feel like you don't like me and i see something of course, I will, like, feel, I mean, and you know, Angel and Perry are now way close. I mean, they spent that intense 24 hours together. So it's normal that Perry will be the one person she will tell. So I see nothing wrong with both of their behaviors. It's just normal human behavior. I don't know why we keep acting as if we are not humans at all. Anyways, guys, away from all that, you know, they're all in the house. Kumbaya, kumbaya. Yes, case closed. Now let's move on to Tacha and Kafi. Guys, I just noticed that Tacha and Kafi actually unfollowed themselves on Instagram. Now this has never happened ever since they became friends from the big brother niger show um pepper them season 2019 what happened like me my ears are itching to hear what happened because i know how much tacha has always defended um kathy when kathy got married you know it was tacha replying people's dm when the announcement of he, her having a child it was tacha there what really happened what would have prompted kathy and tacha to unfollow each other hmm is something we're actually going to be looking into. This September has a lot of things in stock. And I'm happy it's about to end because even though it's my breath month, it has brought nothing short of drama, drama, drama. Now, one of the dramas is also brought was Ozone. Yes, Ozone shippers are not in a very good mood right now because it looks as if their ship has actually capsized in the high sea. Well, did it just capsize or is it the case of a ship that has already had cracks or a ship that was not even existing, to be very, very honest, you know, but we had to like pack things up and still call it a ship. Anyways, guys, it seems as safe all is not well within Ozo and um, Nengi. I mean, look at, you know, them appearing at the bus, you know, um, anniversary in Abuja, the way they were just, you know, giving each other space, even though they were laughing here and there, but you would know that something has happened between these two. I even heard they no longer, like, talk to each other like they normally do. Like, um, the house, I think something about the house where they were staying before together, you know, everything has been done and dusted. Nobody's talking to each other again. Whoa, that's a lot to unpack, right? Because, I mean, even though, like, we know there was no dating, to be very honest. I'm just going to be straight with you guys. There was never any dating between the two of them. So, yeah, if you feel like you've been, I don't know, catfished, Hello. Anyways, that's this. We we that I do know we know, you know. But the truth is, you know, there was not dating and everything. But I expected them to be at least friends, you know, remain cordial and everything. Well, whichever one it is, guys, September has done its thing as it's usually or as it always does, or as it's been doing so far. So yeah, that happened to the ozone ship. Now, the one that shocked me most was the Tonto DK 
um, and Bob Risky issue where Bob Risky had to come out this evening to apologize to Tone to the K. Like, it was so good. I had to do a screenshot of it and come here to read it to you guys. Now, this is what Bob Risky put out. He said, Tonto, I humiliated you here, so it's a must I come back here to apologize for calling you out. I honestly didn't know what came over me, but I later realized I was wrong. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Yes, I might have been there. I have been there for you as friends. The truth is you were also there for me at some point of my life. Please find it in your heart to forgive me once more. We necessarily shouldn't be friends no more, but let me apologize for calling you out. To my fans and to Tonto fans, I'm sorry many of you are disappointed in me. Please forgive me and I promise never to repeat this no more. At Faith Ojo, mommy, thank you. Okay, thanks for giving me the best advice. God bless you, ma. You are truly a mother who don't support evil. Wow. The great Bob Risky has apologized to Tonto. Um, well, what do I think about this? He should apologize. I mean, ever since he dragged Toto, we all saw the whole canker worms and everything that has, you know, been opened. People dragging him left, right, and center. You know, um, Gist Lover's blog sharing his number to everybody. People were adding him in WhatsApp groups, making him admin of WhatsApp groups. You know, at some point, he had to put his phone on airplane mode. It was a disaster. Well, I just hope that Tonto, you know, just, you know, looks, overlooks all this, moves on and everything. And like he said, they mustn't be friends. I mean, I wouldn't advise Tonto to be friends again with him, you know, but at least, you know, just be cordial, hello, hi, and everything, eating with a long spoon whenever they see each other and everything. It's indeed, like I said, it's been a September to remember. This September, no be your mate. Every day has its own share of dramas. Which of the dramas so far has caused your attention which one has shocked you most i tell you the one has, that has actually shocked me most has been big brother and their epic eviction like it got me all up in my emotions i mean you guys saw my previous video the way i was ranting up and down but all is well that ends well right so yes they are all in the finale make sure you vote for your faith don't come back and tell me oh isn't the ojo i beg i am tired i don't want to drag anybody i don't want to rant no more <laughs> <laughs> I just want to enjoy myself, relax, and be taken care of, like Mercy said, and just enjoy this final week of the Big Brother Nigeria show. Because, I mean, the, the show is ending on Sunday. Yes, guys, and these people will be out of our screen, and in will come the Golda Ultimate Touch, and your girl will be here to review all that or review all that yes guys thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl azine williams have yourself a beautiful day ahead bye guys